I don't stop children uh, using technology, uh, especially secondary students, because uh, a lot of parents do uh, write their blogs uh, and they share their experience. Uh, so I, I gain a lot of knowledge uh, by doing researching. Self research. Yeah, uh, study about other people' uh, experience. Uh, so I did came across uh, American parents mm -hmm. who who share that how she. Uh, how she handled this mm -hmm. um, handphone thing because she gave her, her daughter a handphone at quite a young age mm -hmm. but that time I don't understand there is an apps or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. but uh, she did mention that she can uh, she able to track where her daughter oh. is and all that oh. so she feel that uh, to give a phone to her daughter she feel that it's safe because she can reach her anytime oh. So for the earlier stage, if the children is at a very young age, I think if have some kind of monitor uh -huh. or guiding is extremely good. Uh -huh. uh, because we also know that there are a lot of apps mm -hmm. in education mm -hmm. that children can spend time doing practice or exercises mm -hmm. in the apps mm -hmm. and then parents uh, can uh, receive the the score, uh, things uh, like that. But it's just through the research that I do, I read and I know some of the parents are doing things like that. Uh, so that to monitor the children and uh, to guide them uh -huh. and tell them uh, what is the best way you uh -huh. can use the phone. Think carefully before you give the phone, what is your purpose of giving the phone and how much time you're able to guide and observe your children uh -huh. when they give your phone. And uh -huh. even when they are teenagers, is still needed to observe and guide.